No, I made it. To the beach, finally. It's so nice. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Yeah, I'm finally seeing my very first Rivian electric delivery van. That's pretty cool. Amazon Prime delivery. Okay, guys, so I'm going to update you on the uh, whole windshield situation. Um, I did get a call back, and unfortunately, it's another almost two weeks probably to get another windshield. But the only good news they gave me is that they're okay with me driving the RV while we're waiting. So this one is cracked pretty severely, especially up the upper. Um, corner up there where they were trying to press the dang thing in and it's kind of obvious to me why because um, it's all bulged out right here and then you look in the center um, it's the glass is literally like a centimeter away from all the way to the you know where it should be so clearly they didn't get it in far enough this way and so anyway they screwed up but um, the good news is I can move, so um, that's exciting. And so here's the plan. Um, for just uh, kind of interestingly, my dad's coming into town and Val, and so um, they're coming in tomorrow. And actually, I think late tonight, and then uh, we'll be in town tomorrow. So I decided to hold off getting to Mexico for a couple days so I could uh, hang out with them a little bit. So. Tomorrow we're going to go down to Val's son's house, which isn't too far from here. Um, and I'm going to park there for the night and then hang out with them for a day. And that puts us going to Mexico. Uh, so I'm talking you guys watching and me. Uh, but that puts uh, that puts a Mexico uh, trip a couple days out. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and head down there with this cracked windshield. It should be fine. It's way better than the one I damaged. And then uh, see what we can do with paint. I'm a little nervous that this paint job work is going to be way more money than I want to spend, even in Mexico. So we're just going to sort that out, see what they can do for how much, and decide if we want to do it or not. I really need, I really want this RV looking better. I really kind of feel like I might want to sell it, and uh, you know, I've been talking about selling it. So, all right, yeah. So let's talk about the future. Um, so yeah, the future. Um, at this point, um, the the plan that I've had is is absolutely the same. I've got to deal with loose ends and and uh, so getting my storage room cleaned up, that was a huge one, and then dealing with Resurrection. I mean, all the you guys watching this channel, Resurrection is almost like the theme of the channel, and I'm inclined to stay with Resurrection, but one thing's for sure, going to get Resurrection back on the water, get some projects finished on it, and that has been, that's my goal for this summer. Um, I've allocated the time, money's pretty dang tight now with divorce all settled out but um, but I can I should be able to swing it to, um, to kind of get resurrection projects and resurrection finished and, uh, and then September will roll around and I am going to the Philippines in September um, I don't know if anyone who knows me knows that I have some ties there and uh, and this just seemed like a good point in my life where I can take advantage of of my situation and go spend a, a time there and I, so I um, scheduled a month, uh, but even that month is flexible, and uh, and just kind of see how it goes. There's other places in Asia I'd like to visit too, and um, it's so cheap to travel and live there um, that actually I could probably swing it to spend a few months, so I could stay in the Philippines. I'm thinking maybe uh, uh, Taiwan or um, Vietnam. I mean, there's other places, uh, other countries in the in this Asia that I want to visit, so um, that would be awesome. So that that's a cool trip that's coming up. So, um, so yeah, that's that's kind of what's on the radar right now is get this RV so it's saleable. Maybe even sell it. I don't know. Um, but maybe traveling. I mean, just put all my stuff in my trailer and sell this guy. And then same with Resurrection. Um, be fun to put Resurrection on the water and do something with it. But that's not for sure. 
Uh, one way or another, I want to be on the water though. I mean, the the channels land and sea expeditions, there's got to be some sea to it. We're going to, one way or another, I'm getting back on a boat and adventuring on a boat. So that's for sure. Whether it's on Resurrection or not, I don't know at this point. It, it, Resurrection is an awesome boat. It's so cool. I'd love to enjoy some of the upgrades I've made to it. So any of that could happen. But yeah, so doing good. Um, just really glad to not be stuck here anymore. Uh, so we'll hit the road tomorrow. Okay, so it's uh, morning and uh, I've actually uh, taken a day and another uh, boondocking with friends kind of situation. And my dad and Val uh, keep a camper here at Val's son's house and so um, they just happened to be coming to town right when I was going to be heading to Mexico and so spent a date with them. That was nice. And, uh, uh, boondocking in friends' yards again and and it is uh, just getting way too freaking hot. I mean, it is summertime, almost summertime weather in Phoenix. And, uh, I mean, the generator, uh, the old generator here on Finn, um, it's it's getting its age already. And um, so it, it gets too hot, it tends to want to overheat. And so if you get 100 degree weather and you put a load on it, run the air conditioner, and you keep it going and going and going, it's not real dependable. It could, it could uh, get too hot. So anyway, um, <laughs> Plus, I won't, don't really want to run the generator nonstop, anyways. So yeah, it's been uh, it's been a very uncomfortable situation. I am really happy to get out of here. Uh, Mexico's cooler, you know, Rocky Point's cooler than here by quite a bit, anyway. And when I'm there, I can plug in and like, just run the air conditioning. So uh, I am excited to get out of here this morning. Okay, so we're in Gila Bend, heading toward uh, Mexico again. Cracked windshield isn't. The newly cracked windshield is uh, hanging in there. It seems fine. Uh, my Uncle Bob helped me put some fancy glue in it before we left to kind of really bond those cracks back together. So it should be uh, no problem at all there. And it's uh, pretty dang warm. It was kind of cloudy overnight and it was 103 yesterday. So, uh, so the morning lows were in the 80s. and. So it's probably still in the 80s now. I'm not running the ACs yet, but um, I'm about to uh, fire up the generator. And the problem, like I've said, is that old generator, it seems to overheat when it's too hot. Uh, and uh, it's probably going to be like, probably going to be too hot for today. So just trying to hurry and get to Mexico. I'm only, uh, what, you see that? Like two and a half hours away, a little more than that. I'll probably stop for lunch. So. Um, like three and a half hours with that, but and I already purchased my Mexican uh, RV insurance again, so uh, should be good to go. Well, we're getting real close to the border. You can see the border fence out in the distance. So those guys saw me uh, shooting the video and they they said, oh, you have to delete it. But then they were looking through the RV and checking things out and they apparently forgot. So anyway, just, just through the border. They looked in half of the hatches. They didn't look on the other side for some reason, but then they used a mirror to look under the undercarriage and walk through. They were real concerned about the sewing machine that I'm carrying. Uh, that's funny. And they were real concerned about my electric scooter. But uh, anyway, so yeah across the border and we are 64 miles from Rocky Point. Sonoida. Welcome to Sonoida. Continue on to Calle Francisco Eusebio Quito, then take a slight right turn on to Calle Benjamin Rio de Los Mayricas.
hold it down. I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. Cause I love you, baby. I can't let you go, baby. I gotta tell you that I won't. I've been looking for love so true. When I was down and down, along came you. Though you might be a liar and a cheat too. I just can't quit you now, cause I love you. So we made it to Puerto Penasco. There's the Sam's Club. Uneventful drive. This desert between Sonoy down here. So I uh, just paid up, I uh, got my uh, paperwork and my space. They actually had a beachfront space open, <laughs> which would be cool, except that since I'm going to get paint done, I don't want to be right next to people and annoy them. So anyway, uh, so we're back in the back, um, and that's fine with me. Um, it's only for a week, $174, and there's full hookups here, so um, so that doesn't seem too bad. And uh, I might stay an extra week, but uh, you can just pay a week at a time, and that's that's the rate. So. Uh, we're going to go to our space now and get set up. So we're space 200. The ocean breeze feels so cool and nice. Working on a paint job for one over there. Oh, so good to have an ocean breeze. Jeez, it's been so hot. Feels pretty nice here. Okay, well, leveled up. I'm um, gonna get some utilities hooked up. Probably still run the air conditioning uh, just to be super comfortable. But yeah, happy to be here. Oh, I made it to the beach finally. I planned to be here a lot sooner, but. Finally made it and getting relaxed finally from traveling and just sat down and had a, well, I was going to make dinner, but then the steaks I bought a couple days ago were bad already. They were all green and smelling. So just went to a restaurant, got a beer and a steak. So good. And now I'm just walking the beach and it's about that uh, time of the day where lots of people are coming out. The tide just way out right now all the locals are out here just playing music and relaxing and it's 
peaceful and charming. It's really a really nice place. You can see they're getting geared up for some nightlife. I saw a band getting together at the restaurant I was at. So it ought to get a little more exciting as it gets darker. I'm not really a night owl kind of guy, but especially today because I haven't slept very good the last couple days because of the heat. So probably going to turn in early tonight, but while I'm here I'll definitely get around and see some of the sights and show you guys. So that point across the water there, that's the actual rocky point. And that's kind of where the, like, downtown is. But, or I don't know, that there's more of a town than that. But that's where, like, all the touristy stuff is anyway. So, anyway. And then going down the beach here, that's, you got this. This is actually another RV park where it's no hookups. Super cheap. I don't remember exactly what it is right now. I, but uh, that's always an option. And then the next one down is Playa Bonita where I'm at. And then it's a bunch of condo developments. And the other uh, RV park that's on this beach is at the far, far, far end. Way the heck out there. It's called, uh, well, it's right next to the restaurant called Wrecked on the Reef. I forget the name of the RV park off the top of my head. It's something like, some similar name to that. Morning, everybody. This is my, uh, my first morning uh, in Rocky Point on this trip. And... Uh, like always, I'm up plenty early. The sun is uh, just starting to peak, so not many people are out yet. But it's a great time to be out on the beach. The tide's way out, and uh, the air's clear and temperature's, I think, perfect. It's a little bit cool, but just about right. So I'm gonna take a little walk in through town now and. I don't really remember what kind of stores or anything are nearby. When I was here before I had a car, so um, so yeah, I'm gonna see what's available on foot. And speaking of foot, I'm gonna show you for any kind of uh, boating, any kind of boating, beaching, sand, you know, uh, in the water on a walking onto city streets. These shoes, these ones. With I, I'll try to see if I can't pick up. I mean, there's different brand names, lots of them. They're all different sort of Chinese makes, I think. But these shoes with the holes through the soles, where the sand just falls right through, these are the premier shoes to have if you're on and off of a beach or a boat or something because um, they, uh, they're super comfortable and suitable to wear into town. You can walk down any city street with them, but then you can walk right onto a beach and the sand just goes right through to get sand in them. So those are definitely the best shoes to have. And I just got these. I lost my last pair from the boat, so um, just got these brand new before I got here. Figured I'd definitely want them, and I'm glad I did because now I can walk right off this beach and walk right into town. So this is the uh, part of town you could walk right to from the big beach right there. The marina is right over there, so if you're boating into here, you're also going to be pretty dang close to this area. There are no shortage of restaurants and bars and everything else. And there's lots of little hotels and stuff around here. Best in town showgirls. I see a uh, Ace Hardware down there. That could be useful. We want to know about that. This is so dangerous. Walking by the marina. Took this guy's out of Hood River, Oregon. This one's out of Alaska. It would be so. I would be so tempted to. I could be so tempted, I should say, to trade my RV for a boat. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't be the fanciest boat in the world. The RV's not worth that much, but. There's a lot of uh, 
folks that probably aren't exceptionally expensive here too so a lot of little catamarans cute little guys look at this little one coming up here that little guy's got dagger boards it's interesting huh can't even be I mean I'd be surprised if that's 30 feet That one's all wrapped up. <laughs> so this is a funny sign for the beach parking. Not exactly sure what the point of that is. Anyway, I'm walking back to the uh, RV park on the street instead of on the beach just to see how the walk is going this way. I think I've probably driven this a couple times, but anyway, just taking a look. Here at the front of the RV park, they have a laundry room, bathrooms, they have a TV room over there. There's the jacuzzi, outdoor shower, more bathrooms, full tiki feel, you can sit in the shade. Okay, so here's a question. If I inflate this inside the RV, I mean, this is a big paddleboard. Can I get it out the door? I mean, this is a big space, too. And the door's right there. Just easier to inflate in here. I've got two 12-volt outlets, and, and it's a clean spot and easy to work. Um, the only 12 volt outlet outside is around the back side where I installed one to run the uh, um, the pump, uh, the maceration pump for draining the tanks. So I'd have to take it around the back side of the RV and plug it in over there, which is not the end of the world, but then I'm setting it in the gravel or whatever. I don't know. I might inflate it and hope because I don't know if there's any way to test this. I mean, tape measure, I guess. Got tape measure. So today the adventure is walking to the grocery store. I didn't film all of it, but three kilometers. Sorry. Anyway, but yeah, so three kilometer walk. It's starting to get a little hot, but I'm showing my way back. So um, next time I go, I'll film a little more just so you can see what it's like. But typical Mexico, though. You know. Rocky Point, not in the downtown area, so. All these uh, places do live music on the weekends. And not just weekends, this one's Wednesday, Thursday. This one's Friday and Saturday. This is all behind the Pueblo Bonita gated entrance. So uh, these guys consistently uh, walk along the beach here. Uh, see, look, at any given moment I can see three or four guys walking around trying to sell stuff. I can see a couple more over there. And you know, the thing I've never found for sale anywhere is the only thing I actually want, which is a shade of some sort, like a beach umbrella and a beach chair. And it's just one of those things, you know, like, <laughs> what the heck? It's like the thing everyone needs, they don't sell. And a bunch of crap that I don't know... I mean, they sell a bunch of stuff that I would never need. I know it's all, like, blankets and hats. Well, I mean, a hat, I guess, would be good, but, I mean, jewelry and a lot of jewelry and that kind of stuff. So, anyway, just kind of one of those weird things. Anyway, guys are out there with their hobby cats today. Sailing around. I'm not sure what I'm doing exactly, just out seeing the sights. So, I'll show you the, uh... Little Pueblo Bonita, first of all, the, this is the media room. 
So you have uh, internet in here and TV and books and air conditioning. And then there's a big pavilion between the office and where they have the showers and bathrooms. And there's additional uh, showers and bathrooms here. I'm out in front of the uh, Pueblo Bonita Social Club and they have regular scheduled activities all winter here. Um, not a lot going on in summer. In fact, it's locked up right now, so I can't even go in, but um, if they do unlock it, I'll, I'll get you a tour inside there. But uh, anyway, yeah, um, they have, I know they have bingo and other things that they do here, and they have dinner socials and all kinds of things all winter long. So as far as a winter, uh, wintering places, there's a lot of activity here for sure. A lot of snowbirds spend the winter here. Here's your little bathrooms on the other end of the park. So if you, uh, most of the shorter termers stay down this end of the park and the longer termers stay on the other end. So, um, so anyway, yeah, that would be your, your bathrooms on this end if you need them. Personally, uh, you know, I've always been all about like boondocking and, and off-grade camping, but um, when you're out in the sun and out in the ocean, or if you have a side-by-side -side and you're out in the desert, um, Man, a shower is amazing, and, and uh, if you're going to spend any time here at all, uh, water is going to be in real short supply. So uh, I tend to think that it's going to be pretty hardcore to stay here too long without any water. But uh, anyway, that's just me. So I walked over to the your no services, your cheapest RV park. Of course, it's the time of year when not many people are around. But this site, when I was here in the winter, this place was pretty filled. Um, but one thing for sure you have to plan for here is there are no, like, you can't get any kind of services. I mean, you bring your water and everything in here, and there's no way to dump, there's nowhere to fill up. Um, so you only just park and have the beach right there. So location is fabulous. I mean, it's a great place to park at your walking distance into town. I mean, downtown Rocky Point's right there. I um, mean, it's, it's a little bit of a walk, but in, you could do it. You could drive a short distance, but... Um, yeah, there's not much to it but a dirt lot, you know, dirt field. So, uh, but the last time I checked, I think it was literally, uh, I think it was like $18 a day or something along those lines last time I checked on it. So, I mean, it's definitely the cheapest oceanfront parking and it's right in town. I did it. It's a long walk, especially with the soft sand and high tide. But I uh, got all the way here to wrecked on the reef, so let's have a look. Heard a lot about it. Lots of people I know have been here, so that's a good place for your RV and a nice place to get a drink or food. So the first place I've seen anywhere in Mexico with IPA. Uh, so. Uh, Lagunitas, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. Alright, so I decided, uh, it's so nice here, get another beer and order some food. And got every kind of sauce you can ask for. Service is real good. Views real good. Comfortable place. Can't complain at all. Just couldn't resist the fried shrimp. They catch a lot of shrimp around here, so I'm assuming it's pretty fresh. Alright, so I'm uh, now past the restaurant part of Wrecked on the Reef, and I'm here where the RVs are. And they have full hookups here, so you get a sense of what it's like. We've got a lot of room here. You know, I'm starting my walk back from wrecked on the reef. Uh, a little offshore just because it's nice hard ground. And realizing this is kind of a kind of a cool place if you're ever thinking to uh, just boondock. I'm pretty sure you could probably just park an RV here and.
stay on the beach a little bit. I don't think anyone would give me any hard time. We've got big trash cans here. And you just turn off right before you get to wrecked on the reef. So, yeah, kind of interesting spot. I don't know that for a fact. Nobody else is here camping, but I think you could probably... It looks like a great place to do that. If you want to just pull up and camp or boondock on the beach. So, water is beautiful right here. Beach is beautiful. So, this is an idea for some people, right? I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way